Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, we're going to take regular printable vinyl and turn it into custom wraps for your cups or whatever else you want to customize. You guys stay tuned. In order to get started, you will need a computer, an inkjet printer, and some of this printable vinyl. I will have a link in the description below where you can find that on Amazon. Next, I went on Google and picked out a couple of images for my layout of my cup design. First, I chose this wooden background. This is actually just an HD background screensaver for your desktop computer. I wanted it large enough that it would have so many pixels it would look good if it was stretched out or compressed. Once I had that, I went and picked out my favorite college sports team. We all should know that. I am a Gamecocks fan. And I picked it out in PNG so it would have a transparent background like you see there. And I also went and found the tattered American flag for my cup as well. Okay, I'm using Pick Monkey to design my layout. Here I'm just selecting the template for my piece of paper which is 8.5 by 11. Okay, in order to upload your images, click this butterfly on the left hand side, add your own from your computer, and now is the time to get the most creative way you can get creative. You can add anything you want to, pictures of your kids, sports teams, cars, bass fishing, it does not matter. Go full steam with it and uh, design it like you want to. First thing I did was put my background and I did this a half of sheet here because on the top half, I'm gonna make a sports team koozie with the American flag tattered for one of my koozies. And on the bottom half, I have a picture of when my son was playing football last year with a couple of his buddies on the, on the bench. It looked pretty cool, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just speed this up here. And remember, also there is no measurements here. So you just got to be creative and think of how it will look. All right, guys, once you have your design laid out, go ahead and save it to your computer. Load your printable vinyl into your inkjet printer and go ahead and print it out like I'm doing here. It'll only take a few minutes and it looks great. Check this right here out. Okay, so the koozie size is like three and three eighths tall by nine and seven eighths long. So just under 10 inches. So I put the vinyl between the one and the 11 kind of centered as much as I could. So when I go to cut it out in the design space, I can pretty much set this rectangle where it needs to be cut. And I had to do a couple of measurements here. And uh, this is not the Cricut way of doing it. However, this way saves more printable vinyl for you to use at a later time and it don't waste it. And uh, I also did something custom to my cup that I couldn't find before. So once I have that, I went ahead to design space. Now, while we are in design space, I went ahead and took the three and three eighths tall by nine and seven eighths rectangle that I created earlier. This is pretty much the circumference length of the cup. I, that might be wrong the way I said that, but if you took the cup, cut it and made it flat, this is how long that koozie would be. Now I went ahead here and set it up on the paper of the mat to kind of match the measurements I had from the previous clip. Went ahead and press go and load it into the machine. So this is the pretty much the last part is cutting out the design you had. Anything I can stress to you is measure, measure, measure two or three times before you make your cut. This is pretty much all custom like I said earlier measure two or three times before you cut it okay guys so this is pretty much the final step to wrapping your cup or whatever you're wrapping if you're going to be wrapping a 20 ounce cup you're going to have to actually try to wrap it in a curved fashion i do not have a 20 ounce or 30 ounce template you may be to find one on the internet i went ahead and grabbed my koozie and peeled the wrap off away from the paper. And as you can see here, it actually looks pretty good. It's got the uh, both images I have on that rustic background. 
and uh, it pulls off very easily. I let it dry for about five minutes before I started handling it, but then in the later video, I started rubbing it with my fingers and it was not going off. It was nothing going on to my hands at all. Very strong, very durable, very easy to peel up and reapply if you have to. It actually went on quite well. This was like the second time peeling it off and putting it back on. But as you can tell here, I'm starting to press it down with my hands, my fingers, and uh, none of the ink is coming off of the paper. But I mean, just look at it. Actually, this is probably one of my favorite designs, bar none, so far. I love that I can design whatever I want to, print it out. This is no layering vinyl. And I'm leaving it like this with no epoxy for a couple of days, maybe a week. I want to see how tough this is. And you can see here, I'm actually pushing down pretty good with my thumb here. And I'm going to release my thumb and show you there is no ink on my thumb from the paper. This is strong stuff. I love this design. I can't wait to show it off with some of my friends. And uh, I encourage you to buy some of this paper and create some stuff also. So if you have Facebook, be sure to like the Fentertainment Facebook page. I have all of my videos there, so it's very easy to share and show your friends. Also, if you're into tumblers, you can check out DIY Tumblr Paint Jobs. We created this group for everybody to help each other. Again, this is Ryan Fenners, and you've been watching the Fentertainment channel. Here are more great videos. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe. I try to upload videos once a week. And uh, give me a like if you like this video. Also share this video with your friends as well. Thanks and we'll see y'all later.